Hello and welcome my map magicians to this eighth tutorial. I am so excited as today you will learn how to draw states and provinces with inner boundaries and I will show you a cool feature to help you animate the map easily. Before we get started, give me a virtual high five by hitting that subscribe button that would power me up to create more videos and help you become a true map magician. Let's again make some cartographic magic together. First, I will create a map and name it the 8th Tutorial. Make it 1920 by 1080, click Next. Choose Being Aerial and click Create. For this tutorial, I choose to work with the country of Spain. To draw the states and provinces of Spain, we can click twice on the control map or we can search as you already know. Let's click twice and choose States and Provinces, click Download, and before we draw it we need to check two things. First, we need to make sure every state is going to have its own layer. We don't want all the states and provinces to be drawn in one single layer, because that will prevent us from animating each layer. Click on the color square and make sure individual layers is checked and select white color. Second, we need to delete some islands, just to make it easy on our system. To do that, click on the arrow to open up the States and Provinces feature and click on the islands to be removed. Then click on the trash bin icon below or click delete key on your keyboard. I will delete Soda, Malia, Santa Cruz de Tenerife, and Balearic Islands. Once done, we draw it. Great! Now that all the states and provinces are drawn, we have so many layers in our timeline, and all of them are selected, so click on letter T on our keyboard to pull up the opacity parameter and let's make it 50. Because all the layers are selected, it's enough to change it only in one of the layers, and the change will reflect in all the layers. Now we don't want all the layers to come at once, we need them to come one by one randomly, but we are not going to do that manually because it would be time-consuming. There is a way to do it in Geo Layers. We keep our layers selected, and we click on this last button here that says Run Script File, and we choose Stagger Layers Random. As you can see, the system randomly moved the layers, so it will come in different times. It looks good, but we need to add the inner boundaries to make it even better. Again, click twice on the control map, and this time download inner boundaries. It comes only in one layer. Let's draw it and change the color to red and make the stroke 5 pixels. It's missing Spain borders. Let's add that to our map. Click twice on the control map again Download Spain and generate stroke by selecting Spain and clicking on lines from the polygon, then draw it with the same color and make it 5 pixels. Okay, so now we have Spain ready for animation. We can remove the stroke from the islands, but we will need more time. So for now, I am fine with it. Our animation for Spain borders and inner boundaries will be adding a trim path, animator and glow effect. For the states and provinces, we will add flickering opacity and a CC vignette for the Mapcom. But first, let me show you how you can change the name and the color of the layer. Select the layer, then press the main Enter key on your keyboard. It may not work if you are using Enter key that is in your numeric keyboard. Then let's name it Inner Boundaries and Borders.
We can change the color of the layer as well by hovering on the color. Click the right key on your mouse and select the color you want. This is very helpful for organization purposes when you have a bigger project. Now that we know the layer of our borders, we click to open, then click on Add and select Trim Path. We make sure that our current time indicator is at the beginning. We enter zero at the end parameter, then after five seconds type in 100%, Then it is done for the border animation. Let's do the same for inner boundaries layer. Same click to open, select trim path, and do the same. Okay, so now let's add glow effect. Click on borders hold shift key, and click on Inner Boundaries. Then go to the Effects and Presets panel, type in Glow, and click on it twice. We will get this parameter window on the top left-hand corner. The only thing that we need to change is the Glow Threshold and the Radius. I'm fine with the Glow Threshold at 60% for the Radius, I will make it 40. Now, to animate the states and the provinces, we will need to click on the top layer Hold Shift key, and click on the last layer, then go to the Effects and Presets panel. Type in Flickering Opacity and select this one that says Flickering Opacity at Layer In. It means that the animation will be at the beginning of the layer. We will have again this Effect Controls panel. And I am fine with the default settings. I will just close it. OK, so far so good. Now the only thing missing is to add Vignette to our Mapcom and animate our map. To add Vignette, we need to click on the Effects and Presets search, type in CC Vignette, and drop it on the map. On the CC Vignette effect controls, I will have the amount to 120, and the angle of view 60, and then center it. Cool! Alright, so now I will show you how you can animate easily with Saved Map View. First, we need to select the map view that we want. And then click on the plus button on your browser and click on this Mapcom View button. GeoLayers will ask you to name it. I will just call it Spain 1. Then now, we need to find our second map view. We will do the same and call it Spain 2. We can see our two map views on the browser. To animate, we just click on the view. We want the camera to start from then. Click on the keyframe button. Then move the time indicator. And click on the second map view where we want the camera to finish. Then put the keyframes as well. And our animation is done. So let's finalize and see what we got. It is amazing. All right, that's it for today. As always, get some practice. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give me a virtual high five by subscribing. It means a lot to me. Like the video, so the algorithm will push it to more people looking for this training. See you in the next tutorial. We will draw lakes together. I'm looking forward to it, so catch you my map magicians.